course I have drugs to help your skin. <laughs> What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart. I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my pretty horrendous experience taking Accutane. Like many of you guys, when I was still searching for the answers of how to heal my eczema, dermatitis, and psoriasis, I had one of those really wonderfully horrible drug dealing ass dermatologists he used to just throw prescription drugs at me left and right. 20 milligrams of Accutane was his favorite one and he finally convinced me one day to take it. And I'm gonna share with you guys my results in today's video. So a teeny tiny bit of context for those of you who might be brand new to this channel or this might be your first video. Welcome to the community, welcome to the channel. Um, like I said in the intro, my name is Rob Stewart. I've been working with people we have skin disease issues for eight and a half, nine years. I've also been cured of skin disease and I had psoriasis, I had dermatitis, I had rosacea, I had eczema, I had subderm, I was an absolute mess. And for years and years and years, I tried Western medicine and dermatology until I finally got so sick that I gave up and I turned to my own methodology of using my biofeedback from my body, my biomarkers to create a customized diet to heal my gut biome and my hormones. I did some cleansing and detoxification and created many practices around that. And then I really took a look at my lifestyle and made whatever adjustments I needed to make personally. And in the course of about a year, I was able to heal my skin. And that was nine years ago. I've been nine years free of skin disease. And something I wanna bring up in this video, if you are in those early phases or if you haven't even started your healing journey and you're still, you're still excuse me, trying to go the Western medicine route, your senior dermatologist, your senior MD, and you're getting prescription drugs thrown at you constantly, and you're taking one of these, maybe you're taking Accutane right now and you're watching this video. My goal is not to make you feel bad for making that decision. I made that decision. I totally understand where you're coming from. My goal in this video is to help you realize that to actually heal your skin, you do have to heal the root issue and all the prescription drugs that are out there don't address the root issue. In fact, as you'll see in this video, is that many times they make the root issue even worse. Let me get into things. So first of all, when I took the Accutane, it did pretty much nothing to the symptoms of my skin. And my worst areas at that time were my scalp, my T-zone, my sternum, the backs of my elbows, the fronts of my elbows, the tops of my feet, and then kind of some areas on my upper thighs where the hip meets the thigh, that kind of iliopsoas area. And for me, I was looking for something to give me relief. And I turned to Accutane after my doctor really did convince me that one, there's no cure for eczema, dermatitis, and psoriasis. You're gonna to have to deal with it forever. And number two, you really just have to use the best possible drugs to try to keep your pain at a minimum. Both are actually BS. So when I took the Accutane, I took it for about, on and off for about a year. Sometimes my skin would get a teeny tiny bit better from taking it, but most of the time it really didn't have even a positive effect on the symptom. And what the doctor would say is, you know, we just gotta up your dose, or we gotta get your dose right, or we gotta, you know, play with some other things, but it, it should eventually work. Well, it never really did, and it led to some pretty major skin issues besides the skin issues that I already had. So I was using the Accutane orally. I was taking the 20 milligram pill. And my doctor did say, hey, you know, if you have allergies, if you are prone to infections, if you have an autoimmune disease, which no duh doctor, I had an autoimmune disease, I have skin disease, hello, wake up, that this might increase your risk of getting infections and having immune issues in general. So it's like, oh, okay, great. So there's a pretty high risk factor that not only is this gonna make my skin do nothing for the symptom, but it could lead to other issues. Well, the doctor was very much right. My left eye is for some reason sensitive. I used to, it used to twitch a lot. Um, when I used to have allergies, my left eye would get the allergies first. I don't know what's going on, but after about a month on the Accutane, my left eye got such a gnarly infection that I thought I was having a bout with pink eye. Went to the doctor, no pink eye, you just have some weird infection. We can't really trace what it's from. 
can't really trace why, but here's some antibiotics. It should go away in no time. Well, I took the antibiotics like a dummy, um, ruined my gut biome even further, and guess what? The eye infection didn't really go away that quickly. It took about a month and a half of having a swollen, disgusting eye for me to be able to actually see normal and not have a pus-filled, disgusting thing on the side of my face. So that was the first glorious thing that happened to me from taking Accutane. During that time, part of my psoriasis and dermatitis and eczema issues was very, very dry and flaky patches and scales. And they would turn over very quickly. So for a few days, my skin would be ultra, ultra dry. And then for a few days, my skin would shed like crazy. And then for a few days, after I get rid of all the shedding, it would be red and itchy and just oozing and gross and just pretty darn red and flared up. But I never really had too many issues with getting that dry of skin or that many infections that I did during the time I was taking the Accutane. During that time, instead of my normal flare up patterns being the way I just described, on top of that, I would get infections almost monthly. And of course, when you're working with doctors and you're getting infections, what are they gonna have you do? More antibiotics. Now for, so for that year of taking Accutane, I got more infections, my skin looked worse, it was more dry, it was more flaky, and my perfectly normal healthy eye for almost a month and a half was disgusting, like it had really bad swollen pink eye, which had never happened before and only happened a few weeks after I started taking Accutane. Finally, it got to a point where the light bulb went off and I was kind of like, okay, this isn't helping the symptom. Um, I'm destroying my gut with all these antibiotics. I'm destroying literally my filtration system and my hormonal system from taking this ultra powerful drug. And aren't those the exact systems, your filtration system and your hormonal system and your gut biome, aren't those the three main systems that are the root issue of skin disease and autoimmune diseases anyway? Ding dong, yes. So when I came to that realization, and this was kind of the start of my natural healing journey, you could say, I stopped taking the Accutane and I did immediately feel better. Um, I had more energy, I slept better, I had less dry skin, I had no more infections, didn't have anything else happen to my eye, but I did have some lasting effects. The Accutane did really mess up the surface of my skin. It seemed to be just much drier than it ever was before. And it did feel as if my digestion went from pretty bad to even worse during that time. Also, I lost my sex drive completely taking Accutane and I really couldn't find the motivation to move my body enough to work out and to create a healthy human because I was always so crackly and so dry and so worried about infections that I was almost bedridden. Getting off the Accutane was a great choice, but then there was the realization and maybe some of you guys are in this place right now. And I, I, I wish you luck when you hit this part in your journey because you're in a fork in the road. You're either gonna go one of two ways. You're gonna make a decision to try other drugs or do other things. And in the back of your mind, you probably know they're not gonna work. They don't address the root problem. And all of these prescription drugs create other problems that I then have to solve once I get off them. And that's what happened to me is I did realize, okay, not only now do I have to heal my skin, but I have to heal the damage that the Accutane did as well. What we hope for in those situations is that taking this prescription drug from our dermatologist is gonna speed up the path to feeling normal. And here's the bad news of the video. You can't speed up the path of getting back to having normal, healthy skin. It will take a long time and you do have to do three things in order to heal your skin. One, you do have to customize your diet so that you can heal your gut biome, heal your hormones, and heal your filtration system. Number two, you do have to accompany a customized diet with a customized lifestyle, basically hack. You do have, gotta do some cleansing and detoxification in a very, very gentle way. Most people way overdo that. And you have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I need to change some things. I know at least I did and most of the people that I work with have to make some changes, have to move my body more, have to deal with stress better, have to get consistent with my cleansing, detoxification, and my diet. And 
I need to take a look at some of the relationships that I'm in and maybe even the work that I do and do something that aligns more with my spirit or with my goals and with my joy of life. If you are surrounded by negative people, you hate your job, you're constantly stressed and you're feeding your body that fight or flight signal constantly, it's going to be really hard to heal. Once you've got those three things down and you're actually addressing the problem from the inside out at the root problem issue, then it's just a matter of staying consistent. Now, here's what I want to bring up to you. And again, if you're on Accutane or if you're on Dupixin or you're on Humira or you're on the long list of different steroid creams, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I was there. Pretty much everyone watching these videos has been there themselves. But you do have a choice. Um, and the choice is, for me, it was, okay, I just keep spinning on that cycle of medications and never getting better. Or I take the time and I slowly heal myself and then I get to experience life as someone who has no skin disease. Which, for the past nine years, my skin has been really awesome. No flare-ups, no skin issues, nothing. Just a super healthy, vibrant, and wonderful life. That's what I really hope for you guys. But step one, a lot of times, is being honest about these drugs that we're taking. Because so many people have asked, that's my Accutane story. I took it for about a year, on and off. It results were not good in any way, shape, or form. It kind of left me worse off than I was when I came to taking it. And that's a very typical story I hear with all of the clients that I work with who've been on a lot of prescription drugs is that they can give you some sort of short-term relief and then at some point they wear out and then not only do you have to still heal your skin, which you had to the whole time anyway, but now you gotta heal from the negative side effects of those drugs as well. Not a, not a fun place to be. Anyway guys, I wish you so much luck on your skin healing journey. For those who are looking for some help, I do have a link for a consult in the description box. I also have a link for the three phases workbook, which is the step-by-step -step guide for customizing your diet, customizing your cleansing, and naturally healing your skin without the use of drugs. There's also a link for Skinessa, which can really, really help you in the probiotic department. Getting that gut biome with a daily high quality probiotic that is designed for skin health, I think it is a game changer for a lot of people. I take it every day, my clients take it every day, and it works really well. Link for it in the description box. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. Leave your comments and questions down below. Subscribe if you want, give it a thumbs up. I may have already said that, I might tend to repeat myself. But much love, I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.